Here comes our favorite crackhead. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. So for those of you who do not know, he has been subpoenaed to Congress. He's got felony charges now against him. He's just going through some stuff. You know, God forbid that he have to be held to the same standard as the regular Joe on the street in America. Because we all just make mistakes. Good morning. I'm here to... Now, we didn't get to see him walk to this podium, which had been really good in the body language sense. But the little bit we did get to see, he ain't looking at the press. He comes up to the podium. He doesn't quite know what to do with his hands. He's got, it looks like, from the angle that they're at his hips. So we've got some nervous tension and apparently some sheepishness that he's not among friends as he once was. Today, to answer at a public hearing, any legitimate questions Chairman Comer and the House Oversight Committee may have for me. I'm here today to make sure that the House Committee's illegitimate investigations of my family. So you saw the little quick, don't want to move the head, look up, look at the reporters, that's it. And he's reading his prepared statement. Now, there's a few things to this. He could be doing this because he's so damaged from his crackhead episodes throughout his life that he literally can't think very well. He has to focus all of his attention to what he's doing so that he doesn't look stupid. I mean, this would really go with that little quip saying, you can't walk and chew gum at the same time. He's damaged himself that bad. That's where he's at. So a lot of this that we're going to see is an extremely damaged brain. And we're starting to hear it anyways in his mouth as he lisps. It's either damage with the lisp. You can't speak, right? Like he's freaking gopher with teeth. Or he's got new veneers in his mouth and he doesn't quite know how to speak with them. Family did not proceed on distortions, manipulated evidence, and lies. And I'm here today to acknowledge. I'm going to guess new veneers in that realm. And basically because the lips are staying parted around the teeth. He doesn't really want to close them like a normal person when they speak. They use their lips a lot to form those words and it helps stop the <laughs> crap that's coming out of his mouth. So he got really dolled up for this one. That I've made mistakes in my life and wasted opportunities and privileges I was afforded. For that, I am responsible. So you see that I am responsible. He owns it. The volume in his voice is the same. The head jerk in that period the body jerks on that, on the last word, to give it, yes, I own it. For that, I'm accountable. And you see the same thing with accountable. And for that, I'm making amends. And then you hear, I'm making amends, head slightly to the side, a, sh a softer fall in the head. It's something he wants to stay away from. I don't know why. But I'm also here today to correct how the MAGA right has portrayed me for their political purposes. I am first and foremost a son, a father, a brother, and a husband from a loving and supportive family. I'm proud to have earned degrees from Georgetown University and Yale Law School. I'm proud of my legal career and business career. I'm proud of my time serving on a dozen different boards of directors. Now, basically, he's reading you his resume. And you see how easily this is coming across. His body gives the same strength in that. He's actually able to look you in the eye and give you this resume as if it has validity. I got these degrees. Nobody paid for them. We know the opposite. I served on boards. Doesn't matter that I didn't know anything about the company I was supposedly running, but I served on them. I heard this one lady call these people super liars. They're super liars. No, this is not a super liar. This is someone literally reading you a script and portraying to you. He's got a lot of stress. a lot of believe me look every time he looks at his audience. He's got to hold himself still. There's no movement in that spine. He's acting out his defense and it's very stiff. And I'm proud of my efforts to forge global business relationships. For six years, MAGA Republicans, including members of the House committees who are in a closed door session, session right now, session. just take them out so you can speak. Have impugned my dummy. character, invaded my privacy, 
attacked my wife, my children, my family, and my friends. They have ridiculed my struggle with addiction. They have belittled my recovery. I don't think it was a struggle. And they have tried to dehumanize me, all to embarrass and damage my father, who has do devoted his entire public life to service. For six years... Now you see that breath in. It wasn't because there was stress there. He gave this whole rallying speech of how they've attacked him. He had lost all his oxygen and needed to take in a deep breath before he went into the next thing, which also mentally says that he separated that version to now the next part, his father. So you have the me, 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 and now we're going to go into the next part. I have been the target of the unrelenting Trump attack machine shouting, where's Hunter? Well, here's my answer. I am here. Let me state as clearly as I can. My father was not financially involved in my business, not as a practicing lawyer, not as a board member of Burisma, not in my partnership with a Chinese private businessman, not in my investments at home nor abroad, and certainly not as an artist. During my battle with addiction, my parents were there for me. They literally saved my life. They helped me in ways that I will never be able to repay. And of course, they would never expect me to. And in the depths of my addiction, I was extremely irresponsible with my finances. But to suggest that is grounds for an impeachment inquiry is beyond the absurd. It's shameless. There is no evidence to support the allegations that my father was financially involved in my business because it did not happen. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. James Comer, Jim Jordan, Jason Smith, and their colleagues have distorted the facts by cherry picking lines from a bank statement manipulating texts I sent, editing the testimony of my friends and former business. I'm not going to really hash out everything that he lists in here because it is the same play. He's portraying. The same thing is being seen. We got a lot of stress in the forehead. Believe me, look when he looks at his audience, stiffness in the spine, and he's reading that theme for every accusation that he points out and says is a lie is the same thing. Partners and misstating personal information that was stolen from me. There is no fairness or decency in what these Republicans are doing. They have lied over and over about every aspect of my personal and professional life, so much so that their lies have become the false facts believed by too many people. No matter how many times it is debunked, they continue to insist that my father's support of Ukraine against Russia is the result of a non-existent bribe. They displayed naked photos of me during an oversight hearing. <laughs> and they have taken the light of my dad of a non-existent bribe. What the fuck did I just bribe. see? They displayed naked photos of me during an oversight hearing. I swear to God, it looks like he's got a half a smirk on one side of his mouth during an oversight of me. It goes up. And all those photos that he's done showing his little wang wang, he's quite proud of it. Oh, I got to look at this. Mm, I'm so sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no shame in his game. And they have taken the light of my dad's love. The light of my dad's love for me and presented it as darkness. They have no shame. These same committee chairmen have engaged in unprecedented political interference in what would have already been a five-year investigation of me. Yet, here I am, Mr. Chairman, taking up your offer when you said, we can bring these people in for depositions or committee hearings, whichever they choose. 
Well, I've chosen. I am here to testify at a public hearing today to answer any of the committee's legitimate questions. Republicans do not want an open process where Americans can see their tactics, expose their baseless inquiry, or hear what I have to say. What are they afraid of? I'm here. I'm ready. All right, now we're starting to see him really relax in his little tirade. He's leaning back and swaying his body to left and right to look at his audience that is listening to him speak. And there you see the transition from complete deception to now he's in the attack and he doesn't really need to deceive. He just needs to attack. And he's much more at home with that behavior than anything else. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about analyzing body language, there is a video course available on Mandy's website for gold subscribers.